Okay, the feature I'm going to show you today is called Artboards in Affinity Photo. Um, and basically it's a very hidden feature, so hidden, hidden in fact that it's not accessible via any of the menu items across the top here, any of the menu items here or, or, or over here. Um, in fact, you have to do a bit of a workaround. But first, let me explain what um, Artboards are. So Artboards are basically different sized layouts, okay? So you might be able to see what I've done here just to, as a quick demonstration. This, um, imagine it as a single um, Affinity Photo document and you work within this document. This one is 1920 by 1080. This one is 1080 by 1080. And this one is 400 by 400. And the re reason um, why you might create art, artboards is because um, you might want to create an image um, you know, or branding or, a brand, or an advert or whatever for different format sizes. And you want to be able to compare them all next to each other, check that they all kind of look the same. They have the kind of same feel to them. They have the same kind of colors, um, the same using the same fonts and all that kind of stuff. So what I've done there here is just really simple. Um, I'm just going to show you how to, how to arrive at this in a, in a couple of moments. So that's why artwork, art, artboards are very useful. It's also useful because all of your art, art boards and all of your work is held within one document, with what, within one uh, Affinity Photo document, rather than um, in this instance, you might want to, you'd have to store it in three documents. Uh, the reality is that if you're gonna make more of these uh, documents, say for, um, you might want to create one for, uh, um, you know, Facebook, one for a Facebook banner, one for a Twitter banner, one for um, YouTube banners, all that kind of stuff. You'd have to create lots of them, whereas this allows you to keep them all in one document. So how do we do it? Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically just is make, going to Word or something similar to Word, could be Word or LibreOffice, anything that can make a export or export a PDF document with, with two pages in it. So I'm going to create a blank document in Word. Um, I'm going to insert just another blank page so this is now a two page blank document and um, doesn't matter if it's got you could you could just get hold of one it doesn't matter if you've got five or six or seven pages but at least you need at least two i'm going to um, save as an adobe pdf or just to save as a pdf it doesn't really matter um, by default i think word likes to export a, a, a word document first so i'm going to do that and now it's asking me to save a document save it as a pdf document <coughs> So I'll call this one uh, blank two pages. There we go. Have I got that on um, caps? I think I have caps lock. Never mind. Blanks two page blank two pages. Save. There we go. And we can close that down now. So from Affinity Photo, um, go into Open. Go and find our blank uh, two pages. There we go. Open it up. Um, it says load all pages, that's what we want. Click OK. And here we go, what it's done now, it's automatically created two artboards, okay? So, um, so artboards um, typically, um, as I said earlier, would basically be to arrange kind of um, different size formats for the same type of imagery. So, you know, if you're gonna make something, you might make something, prepare, prepare some artwork for Twitter, you might prepare something for Facebook, you might prepare something for YouTube, and you're gonna use the same kind of photo, same text, but you just want to, to, to resize some of them. So it's a really good idea to create a template, and this is how you do it. Um, so the first one, I'm going to call this one um, 1920 by 1080. There we go. And I'm, you need to come down here and change the size. 1920 by 1080. There we go. Let's just zoom out. Obviously I've made it a lot bigger there, which is no problem. Just move it across. This one here, I am going to make it into a, um, let's say, let's for example, a Facebook um, square format image, which I know to be 1080 by 1080. 1080 by 1080. There we go. And remember to change the size down here as well. 1080. There we go. 
and so we've only got two here but that's no problem I can I can um, hover over one then click Control and C for copy and Control and V for paste and we've made another one let's just drag that over here so this one I'm just going to make into a um, let's say it's a Twitter profile uh, image which I know to be uh, 400 pixels by 400 pixels 400 by 400 there we go and you can give it obviously a, a word name if you want you could call it you know a Twitter profile but I just do I just type in the, the sizes for you for my own convenience I, I find that easy to be honest 400 by 400 there we go now you could carry on with lots of these and making lots of different formats you could have a, a you know a a, uh, a YouTube thumbnail you could have a Facebook banner image and everything like that but let's just work with three at the moment so what this lets you do and um, I'm going to highlight this one let's say let's assume and, and you remember you can zoom in on these by the way just like you normally would with when you're working with uh, a document so I come in here let's uh, place an image in there um, where should we go Let's place that image in there. Come in here. Ah, here's, here's one of the first errors I should have, um, a rudimentary error. I'm going to just un undo that one. Control Z. Now, because um, we made the PDF in Word and basically it set the, the color profile as black and white. Um, so all it allows is, is black and white stroke, you know, gray images. That's no problem. All we need to do is come in here, come into the document, convert, convert the format, and we'll come in here and select um, RGB 16. So you could do any of these. There's lots of different versions. Convert, and what this does is if we come into color here or swatches, we can now put colors in there. Okay. So file, place, let's do that again, and we'll, um, we'll get ourselves an image. What did I do? File, place, desktop. Ah, okay. We need all all documents. There we go. Okay. Open. And let's just place our image in there. And there we go. So over here, we might we probably want to put another in. Well, because like I say, we're, we're making different images making the same suite of images just different sizes so I'll come here and I'll place the same image again again this is just a little bit scrappy um, you know if you're going to create proper kind of a, a suite of images you need to take a lot more care over this and um, and do other bits and bobs to them and you know crop and position them a bit better um, let's go in here place and there we go Um, and there we go and you and you, remember you might want to just add some text I'm really oversimplifying this to be honest I'm sure you get the idea anyway so let's copy that and let's paste it into here there we go and you might you'll want to adjust that so appropriately let's bring that in here there, there. let's paste that into there there we go and of course when you're doing some kind of images you'll probably do a lot more than this you'll have swooshes and brandings and logos and things like that but here's our collection of um, images that are designed the same but um, just are created a different to fit different um, size formats and the great thing about this is you can save um, the document all in one so save as it doesn't matter what you're going to save it as I'm just going to save it as the default thing so when you open it again all of these will open together and you can see how they all compare together rather than opening up different documents and you know they're all saved in the same place um, and when you want to uh, save uh, one you or export you come in here and export and then you choose it's asking you what area you want to export um, so I think oh yes I'll, I'll export the 1920 by 1080 one there we go um, save it on my desktop and there we go and now it should have saved it um, there
like so. So that's pretty much how it works.